my channel. Topic natin ngayon is about geometric means. So, what is geometric means? The geometric means between any two positive numbers, A and B is the square root of their product. Kapag positive naman ang square root of the product of A and B, so this is our positive geometric mean of A and B. Kapag negative naman ang square root of the product of A and B, so this is our negative geometric mean of A and B. B. Let's have some examples. Let us find the positive geometric mean of the following. So, we have 4 and 16. A square root of your A, that is 4, and B, that is 16. So, 4 times 16, that is a square root of 64. A square root of 64, that is 8. So, the positive geometric mean of 4 and 16 is 8. Another example, we have 60 and 15. A square root of your A and B. So, our A is 60, our B is 15. So, 60 times 15, that is square root of 900. A square root of 900, that is 30. So, the positive geometric mean of 60 and 15, that is 30. Another example, we have negative 12 and negative 108. A square root of your A, that is negative 12, and your B is negative 108. So, negative 12 times negative 108, that is a square root of 1,296. A square root of 1,296, that is 36. So, 36 is the positive geometric mean of negative 12 and negative 108. Another example. Insert three geometric means between 6 and 96. 6 is our first term. 96 is our last term. Now, we have 6 and the three geometric means na hahanapin pa lang natin. At ang last term natin na 96. Para makuha natin ang geometric means dito, uunahin natin pag-solve ang gitna. So, isosolve natin si 6 and 96. So, 6 times 96, that is square root of 576 square root of 576 that is 24 so the geometric mean of 6 and 96 is 24 so meron na tayong geometric mean dito so makukuha na natin ang geometric mean dito so isold natin si 6 and 24 so 6 times 24, that is square root of 144. Square root of 144, that is 12. So, the geometric mean of 6 and 24 is 12. Now, para makuha naman natin ang geometric mean dito, isosolve naman natin si 24 and 96. So, 24 times 96, that is a square root of 2,304. A square root of 2,304, that is 48. So, 
The geometric mean of 24 and 96 is 48. So, meron na tayong geometric means. Para malaman natin kung tama ang ating geometric means, kukunin natin si common ratio. So, 12 divided by 6, that is 2. 24 divided by 12, that is 2. 48 divided by 24, that is 2. 96 divided by 48, that is 2. So, tama ang ating geometric means because we have a common ratio of 2. Another example, insert 3 geometric means between 8 and 5,000. Our first term is 8 and our last term is 5,000. Now, we have 8 and the 3 geometric means na hahanapin pa lang natin. And our last term is 5,000. So, uunahin natin pagkuha ang gitna para makuha natin ang geometric mean dito. So, isolve natin si 8 and 5,000 para makuha natin dito sa gitna. So, 8 times 5,000 that is square root of 40,000. Square root of 40,000, that is 200. So, the geometric mean of 8 and 5,000 is 200. So, meron na tayong geometric mean dito. So, makukuha na natin ang geometric mean dito at saka dito. So, 8 and 200. 8 times 200, that is... Square root of 1,600. Square root of 1,600, that is 40. So, the geometric mean of 8 and 200, that is 40. So, isolve naman natin ngayon si 200 and 5,000. 200 times 5,000, that is square root of 1 million. Square root of 1 million, that is 1,000. So, the geometric mean of 205,000 is 1,000. So, meron na tayong geometric means. Para malaman natin na tama ang ating geometric means, kunin natin si common ratio. So, paano yon? 40 divided by 8, that is 5. 200 divided by 40, that is 5. 1,000 divided by 200, that is 5. 5,000 divided by 1,000, that is 5. So, we have a common ratio of 5. So, tama ang ating geometric means. That's all about geometric means. Please subscribe, like, and share. Para updated kayo sa mga video ko. God bless!